Hi, this is Glendon Cameron, and this is the introduction to developing credit for your business. I started this course last year, but I really had to think about how I was going to do it because this is some very, very powerful information. Some things you may know, some things you may not know. So this is where we're going to start with this business. First and foremost, developing business credit is incumbent upon you developing your personal credit. Now, from a technique standpoint, you could easily develop business credit and not even use your personal credit. But this is the problem for me. If you do not learn how to manage your money in the household first, the chances are very high to exceptional that you will screw up your business finances. So get your household finances together first, and it will make it easier and saner to handle your business finances. That is one of the things that I've seen that has killed many entrepreneurs, and that's why you'll hear people Oh, I refuse to use credit cards. If I can't do it with the cash on hand, I am not going to do it, which is a good way to be. And for many years, I was that way myself. What I've discovered is if you have a greater understanding of how credit works and you have discipline, let me say that again, discipline, you can use other people's money and make a lot of money. Once you build up substantial personal credit, and it will take one to two years, you can finance an amazing amount of things. I helped one person go from $20,000 in credit card limits to $150,000 in eight months. This is how credit card companies work. If you use them and pay them, they give you larger limits. It's really simple. Many people want to get the big limits so they can buy stuff, but they're not really, really, really focused on the payback. I had a card that I was paying 1500 to 2000 every week when I was rolling. And with my daughter's new business, which is FBA, I expect similar usage because I'm going to put her on one of my credit cards for points. And that's another thing. If you're a business person and you, you have a goals, there's a, many ways that you can get an incredible amount of points and make money and pay no interest if you have a plan. And you can start with a $500 credit card. I give you the intent and the purpose of this webinar because I don't want you coming in thinking, oh, it's, today is December 20th and by... March 20th, I'm going to have $100,000 in credit limits. Not necessarily the case. It depends on where you are. It depends on what type of credit you have. And for some people, having no credit may actually be a very good starting point, i.e. kids. So understand, this is going to be an in-depth overview. We're going to talk about a lot of things, and I'm going to teach you how to repair your credit. I'm going to point you onto some online resources that I used. When I did this, it was after the labor pool days, all that stuff, 1997, 99. And when I found out in helping someone I was dating clean up her credit, that many of the techniques that I used years ago are still powerful and effective, but they take consistency, diligence, and a plan. That's what you're going to learn in this webinar, how to go on. And we're going to start in a very, very elementary position. Some of it may be insulting because many people want to say poo poo to the basics and then go straight to advanced level type stuff with no mastery of the basics and wondering why they can't sustain a certain level of credit or income. The devil is in the details. It really is. And we're going to talk about this. So we're going to talk about personal credit first, and then we're going to move on to business credit. So for those of you who have great credit and you are already set, awesome. You can still learn how to improve your credit limits. And then you're going, why would I want to improve my credit limits? My credit limit is great. This is how credit works. 
you have $25,000 worth of credit limits and you're $20,000 in debt. You're maxed out. If you have $100,000 in credit limits and you have $20,000 in debt, your utilization is 20% and your credit score rises. Same debt, however, how it looks on paper is totally different. You look very conservative. You look like, oh, this person's only using a little bit of their credit. This is a great risk. But it's the same amount of debt. So understand, perspective, presentation, and how you look at this thing and how you do it makes a difference. So if you know that you want to carry short-term debt of $25,000 in 2015, then what you want to do is get your personal credit up to eighty dollars to $100,000 worth of credit limits and have it clean and very little on your cards, you can roughly have 5 to 10% on any card, and it's really not going to impact your score one way or another. And then when you do that $25,000 for, say, a year, you can probably take advantage of, say, Discover or Chase that will offer you 0% interest for 14 months. Get a card with that limit, use that money for a year, and pay no interest. That is very smart money. But once again, it goes back to having a plan and a strategy. If you have no plan and you have no strategy, credit will scare the shit out of you because you see that piece of plastic or metal, as many cars now are coming in metal, as extra money when it really is not extra money. It's your money on convenience. That's all it is. It's not extra money. It's a loan. It's money that has to be repaid. By doing that and understanding that, you will be able to build an incredible business using credit and never get in trouble. Because one of the things I'm going to teach you about is having holdback. If you have an exposure level of 100,000, you should have 25 to 50,000 cash somewhere. It could be in a car. It is something that you could sell. So in case something goes funky, you can liquidate assets, keep your credit straight. Because as long as your credit is straight, you can always get what you lost. Very quickly, I might add. Then you could take money and continue to build your business. Many people go to the max or they don't set arbitrary credit limits. Like say your credit limit is 40000 You should set an arbitrary limit of, I'm only going to use 10000 on this card. It's roughly 25%. It starts inching towards high utilization. But once you get to that level and you pay it off, you're always looking good. So you got to understand how the credit game is played. Once you understand those rules, you can do a lot of stuff. So in this download, as well as the video, there's two sign up forms. There's one in pages and one in words. You just click on the link and you can sign up for the webinar. And there will be many because this is not going to be a fast webinar. This is going to take a little time. It's going to take a little effort because I can give you all this information, but the steps that you must implement take time. You have to do something every month, every 45 days. All right. This is Glendon, and I will see you on the good side.